Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Amy. I'm Nick. Tog together, we're Carmen, and we're on our tour bus talking about some crazy tour stories. Probably the craziest tour story I've ever had was uh, New Year's Eve last year. We were playing a show, and uh, at the very where were we? Where were we? Uh, we were in Ang Anguilla. Anguilla, think, which is the small island near St. Martin. It's in like in the uh, pretty the pretty Caribbean. cool place to tour. Lots of boats. So. Um, we are uh, so we get we get done the show and we, I just give some kids some high fives at the front of the uh, front of the stage, and one of the people giving me a high five is Paul McCartney, and I, I just kind of stop for a second. I'm like, "Wah!" and he's like, "Yeah, you yeah, man, a terrible British accent," but he was he was really excited, and I was just like, "Oh, oh my God!" So I went backstage after all that, and I was just kind of sitting by myself, like my life is complete now, and he actually came back. And continued to talk to us and said he loved the show and was a fan of the records and everything. And um, uh, actually, he pimp slapped, pimp slapped my face. He pimp slapped Nick three times. I saw it. Yeah, it's on camera. It's somewhere. on camera. Yeah, whatevs. So that that's probably the craziest story. That's story definitely story that I that heard. just trumps everything basically in life. But um, there was one time early on when we were in our YouTube days and we were starting to do college shows, and we made a stop in New York City and we were meeting with record labels and talking about signing a record contract and it was very overwhelming and one of the meetings ended up being with Kanye West so that was that was pretty cool that was cool and we were late to his meeting because we were uh, the one with LA was right before LA Reid LA Reid was right before yeah so that the, after that day we were just like but it's cool <laughs> what's going on it's cool doing uh, uh, like Lollapalooza and stuff like that because you do run into a lot of artists and yeah we're big fans of people so it's it's been really fun to just meet people and, and obviously the best part of the whole thing is being able to meet the fans and the people that made our career possible.